Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the main process and the renderer process in Electron. Now I have created a new folder called main renderer and this is the exact same contents as the hello world application. I just have made a few changes. I've changed the project name to main renderer and index.html I've changed the title to main renderer app and also the heading tag to main renderer. Now we are going to start off by adding the missing web technologies namely CSS and JavaScript to this application. So over here we have the HTML file. Let's add the CSS file and also the JavaScript file. Create a new file and name this styles.css. Over here I'm just going to add the color property for the h1 tag. I'm going to make it orange color. And back in the HTML file we need to reference that CSS. So add link, style sheet, we don't need the type and href is styles.css. Similarly, create a new file and name it index.js which is going to be our JavaScript file. Now within this file, I'm just going to log to the console. So console.log from index.js. Similarly, in the main.js file, I'm going to log to the console from main.js. Now in our index.html file, we need to make a reference to this index.js file. And the way we do that is kind of no JS syntax. So we do have the script tag, but now instead of the source attribute, we are going to use require and then specify the file name. In the current folder, we have a file called index.js and this has to be imported over here. So now let's save this and run our application. So I'm going to open the integrated terminal, view integrated terminal, and then I'm going to run npm start. So if you have a look, our h1 tag is now in orange color. So our CSS is working. Let's verify if the JavaScript is working. So if you have a look at the terminal, we can only see from main.js is logged. But what about from index.js? Well, if you have a look at the console in the developer tools in the browser window, here is where you will see index.js is logged. Alright, so with this background, let's understand what is a main process and a renderer process in Electron. Now the process which runs the main script in package.json is called the main process. So in our case, the process running main.js is the main process. And the main process is responsible for creating the graphical user interface by creating web pages using the browser window. This one. Now each of these web pages, for example, each of these windows have their own process known as the renderer process and the renderer process are isolated from each other. So if there are multiple browser windows, the renderer processes from each of them do not conflict. This is to make use of Chromium's multi-process architecture. So basically what I want you to keep in mind is pretty simple. In an Electron application, there is going to be a main process and one or more renderer processes. The main process creates the web pages for the UI. Each web page has its own render process that doesn't interfere with any other rendered process. So when we console log in main.js, it is the main process. When we console log in index.js, it is from the render process. So let's quickly put together the HTML and JavaScript files and see a demo. Now in the main.js file, we are going to declare two windows. So let win1 and win2. In our function create window, let's create two windows. So win1 and then similarly we are going to have win2. Next, we are going to load the HTML file to each of these two browser windows. So window one, let's load index.html. In fact, let's rename this to 1.html and also name index.html to 1.html. Similarly, I'm going to copy paste so that we have loaded 2.html to window two. And I'm going to create a new file 
to .html and I'm going to copy paste the contents from 1.html. So copy this and in 2.html paste it. And what I'm going to do is rename the heading. So this is renderer1 and similarly this is renderer2. All right, let's go back to our main.js now and open developer tools on both window one and window two. So window one and then window two. Next, we need to handle the closed event on both the windows. So this is going to be window one dot on closed and similarly window two dot on closed. All right, now we have two HTML files. So let's create two JavaScript files, one for each of the HTML files. I'm gonna rename index.js as one.js. So one.js. And over here, I'm going to say from renderer process one. So from renderer one. And similarly, I'm going to create two.js and I'm going to add from renderer two. Now in 1.html, we are going to require 1.js and similarly in 2.html, we are going to require 2.js. So let's run this application now and verify. So I'm going to run command npm start again. Now this is going to put the renderer 2 browser window on top. So I'm going to put this side by side and if you have a look, we have renderer one, which is from render process one, and then render two over here, which is from render process two. If you have a look at the console, it says from render one and over here from renderer two. And again, if you have a look at the integrated terminal, we get main.js. So we have the main process, which runs main.js. Now this main.js can create multiple browser windows each having its own render process. So that is why it can create two browser windows, renderer one and renderer two, and each of these renderer processes do not interfere with each other. So that is why even though I have console.log from renderer one, it doesn't get logged here. And the same from renderer two get, doesn't get logged in the first browser window. So the bottom line is a main process creates multiple renderer processes, and each renderer process doesn't interfere with the other renderer processes. And what's great about the browser window is that it can be created from a render process as well. So right now we are creating our browser windows from the main process. So when, within main.js, we have this create window that creates new browser windows. But we can also create a browser window from a renderer process. So the main process creates a browser window for the UI and the browser window can in turn create more browser windows and each time a new separate renderer process will be created for that particular browser window. So let's take a look at an example. Let's create a new HTML file and name this 3.html. And similarly, I'm going to create another file called 3.js. This is the JavaScript file. Now within 3.js, I'm just going to log to the console, render process three. And I'm just going to copy paste the contents of 1.html to 3.html and make the changes. This will be render three. This will be 3.js. So we are going to load this 3.html, which has 3.js being called. Now we need to be able to create a new window from the existing browser window. So in 1.html, let's add a new button and give it an ID. So button ID is equal to, let's call this new window button. Then I'm just going to give the text as create. Now what we need to do is listen to the click event on this button and create a new browser window. And we do that in 1.js, this right here. So in 1.js, first we need to get a hold of the browser window. So browser 
window and then we are going to require from electron but this time because we are making use of another browser window we need to use dot remote dot browser window and then of course we are going to make use of path is equal to require path the path built-in module and similarly the URL built-in module so require URL next we need to get hold of the button that we just created in our HTML so new window button this will be equal to document dot get element by ID new window button and then new window button dot add event listener now we are going to listen to the click event so click and then we are going to execute a function this is going to give us the event and what we are going to do here is create a new browser window so let win 3 is equal to new browser window and then we are going to load 3.html into this browser window so I'm just going to copy paste the same code so we have load URL let's just make a couple of changes window 3 has to replace window 1 and 1.html has to be replaced by 3.html and then let's just open the developer tools as well so this will be window 3.webcontents.opendevtools all right let's start this application and see how it works so control c to cancel the current process and then npm start to create this process again all right so we have render one and then render two so we have the main process that creates two new browser windows on the left hand side the first renderer process on the right hand side the second renderer process and you can see here here in the console it says renderer one and then renderer two now from our browser window we can create a new browser window and for that we have added this create button and when I click on this create button you see that a new browser window is created and this says renderer 3 and in the console renderer 3 so we have one browser window creating another browser window and what's important to know here is that they both have their own renderer processes so even though we created renderer 3 from renderer 1 this particular console.log is not logged over here so we don't see renderer 1 over here in renderer 3 and vice versa we don't see renderer 3 here in renderer 1 now the concept of main process and renderer process is pretty important especially when it comes to communication between the GUI and the file system now we will learn more about IPC or interprocess communication later on but for now just remember that there is one main process and one or more isolated renderer processes all right thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button i'll see you guys in the next video